Hello, and welcome to another uh, installment in our installable callable series. This is where we give you different workflows that you can import as callable uh, microservice type workflows into your uh, instance of Tray and use these to help make your workflows better. And this one is about uh, forcing an array or list. We've seen this in the community, so we wanted to make sure we called this one out. So this will standardize your data from any source as an array for easier downstream building. And we'll go through some use cases for this. So the difficulty is two builders out of five, and the value is five superheroes, sorry, four superheroes out of five. So let's take a look at the test workflow and we'll look at the callable workflow. So here's the tester, just to walk you through what's happening here. So manual trigger, best for testing. We've got a Boolean that says, are we setting an object? or if false, we're setting a list. So this is how we're gonna prove that it works as both. And within this, what we're doing, we're, we're doing here is we're using the JSON transformer step to paste in data from our Salesforce training connector. So anybody could do this with the Salesforce training connector as well if you'd like to run tests, um, but we're gonna skip that and go straight to our JSON transformer. So this one is just one object, no array, and this one is a list as you can see with the brackets and the curly brackets there. Then what we're doing is we're setting that data as a current run data storage step, and then we're getting that data, and then we're sending the data from either one of these, depending on which way we set the Boolean. Right now it's set to true, true. We'll set it to true, false to test the other side. Then we're setting that, sending that data to our callable, and back we should receive either the same list that we sent it or the object should be a um, list with one object within it. So let's give this a couple runs. I'm gonna run this uh, with the true true, and then I'm gonna set this true false so that it runs the opposite branch, and we'll take a look at both of those results. So here we are. We've got the manual trigger set object this went to the true branch so this is one that is going to be just a single object we can double check that by looking at the logs this is just a single object great we store that we get that let's check one more time it is just a single object as per the curly brackets and call the array setter so what are we doing we're sending that object to the callable workflow and back from it we receive a property called list with that one object in a list and or an array, whatever you're calling it. And we have some metadata about the workflow that we sent to it. Perfect. Let's look at the other one. So I'm going to skip the top. I'm just going to go to what we sent or what we stored. So we've got a list of objects. Perfect. And back, what do we get? Same property name so that you can use this mapping for downstream. And this time we've got a list of the objects just as we desired. So that means anything downstream can be handled within a loop and it will not break your um, downstream workflow. Even if there's just one object, you can still run it through the loop just as the rest of this uh, process might require. So this is extremely helpful. Let's have a look at the workflow that's supporting this. So we've got an input schema where we're asking for data uh, we've left some, some extra uh, information here. Uh, I will point out that you can ignore incompatible type warnings because we can only set this as a specific type and you're gonna set it to two different types. You're gonna set it as an object for when just an object is coming through and it's gonna be set as a list when, just a, when a list is coming through. So if that's too much information, you can ignore that, but just wanted to leave that in the notes for, for anybody installing this. And then we've got a Boolean in here. You can remove this. I left it in here because I want to show that there are two ways that this can actually work. You can use data storage to append to list and then get that information and send it here. And that's the one that it's set to by default because I think that one's a little bit easier for newer builders to understand. Or if you want, you can change this workflow to run off the JSON transformer, which uses a simple JSON query uh, that looks like this. So two options. Uh, by default, this is going to run the always true branch and if you do want to change it to the JSON transformer, you'll need to pull that out, delete the Boolean, and remap your response. Then we've got a response schema here. 
uh, very simple, just an array. And we're passing that back. So that is a little bit more in depth than our last installable callable. So we'd love your feedback to understand, is this one working for you? Were you able to implement it in your workflows? Uh, what else would you like to see? And yeah, how's this, how's this helping? Would you like to see more installable callables? Let us know. Thanks.